Hello, today I'm going to do a painting of uh, pink little flowers here. Um, I don't tend to paint realistically. I'm not going to do a bot botanical illustration of this. I'm just going to give an impression of it. So I'm going to start, it's Bockingford rough paper that I'm using, and I'm going to start just with a little brief outline of the flower heads. So I'm going to use a colour called Windsor Red for the flower heads, and I'm just going to make some little marks here. I'm going to do this flower head to start with. And I'm just going to make some little marks. You can see that it's fairly flat there, and there's a, a semicircle there. So I'm going to try and keep my flower a similar shape to that. Um, and I'm just going to make a few little marks here on the paper, like this. And then I'm going to add some water and let all that bleed around the area. So it's all very imprecise at the moment, but I'm just going to let all that bleed around, like that. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of colour on my brush, which will be a mix of Farlow Blue, a Winsor & Newton colour, and Lemon Yellow. And I'm just going to mix a little bit of that on my brush, because uh, what I want is quite a cool green for this, because these pinks do have a cool green sort of stem. So I'm just going to mix that, and I'm just going to come in at the back of my flower here. And there's quite a long area there. And then I'm going to just come down, stroke it down for the actual stem, like that. And then what I'm going to do now is ruin it all, because I'm just going to add lots more water to this, and let, I'm going to let it all bleed everywhere around my painting. And the reason that I do this, it, it helps marry the painting with the background, and it also helps give me a very loose feel to the painting. So there isn't much definition there at the moment. And I just need to, to let that dry for a little while now, and then I can carry on with the painting. OK, my painting's dry now. I don't know if you know how you can tell that a painting's dry, but if you touch it with the back of your hand and it feels warm, rather than feeling quite cold, then you know your painting is dry. Now I'm going to go in and add a little bit more definition to the petals. I'm just going to pick out some little areas to add a little bit, a few more petals, quite randomly. I'm not going to do anything that's uniform, just add little bits as I go along, and then again, I'm going to come in and wash behind them. Now there's a technique that you need to use to this because the petals on the pink are really quite frilly. And what we need to do is develop a little edge on them, a fine edge to give that delicate look that we're going to get in the actual flower head. That's what I'm looking for as we move along. And I'm just going to leave that to dry a little bit again now and come in again with the stem add a little bit more to the stem. And I'm not bothered if this bleeds into the, into the flower head at all, because that's all part of the beauty of watercolour, to let it all bleed. And if I just show you a little bit down here, what I'm trying to achieve there, if I just do a straight line there, and then I come in behind that line, then I'm trying to get a soft edge there, but quite a hard line as well like that. So I'm going to bleed it all away, but it leaves me with quite a fine line there. And this is what I'm trying to achieve on here, on these little petals here. So I need to lift a little bit of paint out there and around there, so that I'm getting some of these edges forming. Just bring a little bit more paint around here to keep the shape. And now I need to dry that again, because it's most important that you keep your painting dry and then you can go back in again and start to build the layers up. So I need to dry that again now. I'm going to come back in now with a finer brush to add a bit more detail on the petals on the flower head. So this is a, a number six and it's a round uh, pointed sable. So I'm going to come back in now with, with a little bit more detail on these, on these flower head, on these petals here. And again, I'm just going to go randomly around to create. And sometimes I can see here that I've got a line, which I'm going to capitalize on. Any, any little areas of white that I can come around and again, just randomly around the flower head. 
so that I can build up an impression, which is all that I want to do. I just want to give an impression. I'm not trying to paint that exact flower. I'm just trying to give an impression of it. And again, I'm just going to come in now with my brush and just soften those edges, leaving a hard edge behind. Can you see that happening there? Going around the whole head, where I've left the little lines, and just softening the edges behind. And it's building up now to give the, a curly impression of this flower head. Come along that edge there and that one there. And I can go on building up this flower head for quite some time, um, but I don't want to overwork anything here. And I'm just going to go back into the stem and add a little bit more detail onto the stem now. And you can see the thinner, thinner brush is better for that as well. And then on these stems, they have sort of little areas like this where the actual new shoots come out of sometimes. So I'm just going to add one or two of those. And sometimes there are more stems which come out of them. And I can just add a little bit more interest by adding a few more stems around. Go back in and soften some more of those edges in there. Add a little, little bit more. And a little bit more around there. So I've created far more of an impression rather than a particular flower there. It's just an impression of a pink, which is what I was setting out to do in the first place. <laughs> 